Hello. Now listen here, man. I'm I'm going to I'm going to apologize to you up front because I am I'm not I, I'm not good with names, man. You How you good? How how do you pronounce your name? Oceana. O Oceana. That is Yeah, Oceana. That, that is a very unique name, man. Like Thank you. Like what your mom was doing? She was thinking about the ocean. <laughs> that's what that's what everybody say. <laughs> she over here in the she over here in the bed. She had you in her hands, and the only thing that came to her head was like, "I wish I was on a beach right now." <laughs> oh, she say baby book, huh? She say baby book. She say baby book. So I'm not sure. <laughs> oh man, that's what's up. That's what's up. Let's go ahead and get started, man. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's been looking for you for a long time. He's coming, master. O Oceana in the building. Yeah. Tyler, Texas. Now look, yep. now look, I, I I have been following you for quite a while. Unfortunately, because of what happened to you, I see you went back and turned off all of your comments and I wasn't able to Oh yeah. I wasn't able to reach out to you via the comments because the only way that mm -hmm. we can that we can talk in the background on TikTok is both of us have to follow each other. So right. when, when I found right. when I found out uh, when you did the tit, the the two tit tops. Well, the first one, where you was stuck for about you know sixty sixty plus hours, and then the second one where you actually mm -hmm. came out and said that you was terminated because of uh because of the video. Um, I, mm -hmm. I tried to reach out to you, and I was like, man, that's the that's the exact same thing that happened to me. They 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 called me into the office. Oh. Uh, they called oh, me. My God. Yeah, they they called me into the office. This is uh this is when this is like seven years ago when I was with uh seven U years ago mm -hmm. when I was with U.S. Express. They called me into U.S. The Express. Okay. Mm -hmm. They they called me into the office. Uh, you know, I'm still new. You know, I, I'm two years. Mm -hmm. I'm two years in, but U.S. Express was my first company that I that I started driving okay. for. So. I'm right. still I'm still new, you know, and I'm, I'm still new, naive mm -hmm. and everything that I, I get called mm -hmm. into the uh, safety <laughs> department, you know, sit me down and all like that. And they was mm -hmm. like, hey, how you doing? You know why you here? Like, no. Right. <laughs> so they uh, <laughs> they was like, well, um, well, we got this video and um, we, we want to talk to you about it. It's like, cool. Mm -hmm. OK. All right. Right. Uh, did you make a you know she was like did you make a video or such and such and such and such i was like yeah yeah you know my my driver tech went out you know i was upset with it i you know i i made a i made a video i wasn't holding my phone or i said mm -hmm. it was a gopro camera i said the camera's outside mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and uh she yeah. was like somebody sent her the video and i was i was one and done so the same situation kind of kind of uh, happened to you so right i mean right. let's let let us know what happened from the time you actually was sitting for the 60 plus hours because i'm sure you sitting there without a load like what's going on so take us take what's us back going to, on? take us back to that day Okay, so basically, um, okay, so basically, I was um, sit, I'm sitting in my truck at the the Love Travel Stop, and I'm just like, okay, it's been my my 34 hour reset been up, and normally the company that I was with, they'll hit me up, they'll text me or call me and say, okay, we got this load going there or there, and okay, so I'm just like, okay, I'm waiting on them to call me. And that's why I didn't hit them up first because I'm like, they normally call me with a load or something. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to wait, wait on them to hit me up. So, okay, some hours and hours go by. It's the next day. I'm thinking like, okay, I already been in reset for 60 hours now the next day. So 
I was like, okay, let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and text them on the app that we had and ask them like, okay, what's going on? I haven't gotten a load. That's exactly what I said. What's going on? I haven't gotten a load. I know it's almost my home time. It was four days before my home time when I got um, fired. So I was like, okay, I wonder if they're just trying to find me a load to my to my town because <laughs> it, it was kind of far from where I was. So I'm just like, okay. I hit him up. He was like, go to the yard. He sent me the address. He said, go to the yard and um and you can um someone needs to talk to you when once you get there. So I'm like, okay. I hope I'm not in trouble. So <laughs> let, let me stop. Let I me let there. me stop you right there. Let let me stop you right there. So. You're you're at the where which loves you was at where where were you when, when I was you, in um little I was actually in Arkansas. All right, so you in Little Rock, Arkansas. Yo 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 yo. Thirty four is up. You yep. like okay? What's going on now? When right. you re, when you reached out to him, did you did, you said you you talked to him through the app that you had, but did you actually? Mm -hmm. Did you actually have a conversation over the phone with him when he was telling you to go to the yard? No, it was through text. I had sent, they have an app that we can just send a text directly to, I guess, one of the managers. So I just sent the text and I said, what's going on? I haven't gotten a load nor a call. And then he just sent that back. He sent the address that I needed to go to. He so, said, this is where you need to go. Okay, so... Now you know your fleet manager. You know you you had a mega carrier because again this is mm -hmm. this this is back to what happened to me. You know and you know I I didn't get a text. I got a call. You know I I got the call. You got a call. Yeah, I I got a call. You know Heather called me. That was that was my fleet manager's name at the time. She called me. Wait, was it Heather or he Hillary? It's some it's some some <laughs> uh, Nickelodeon kid's name. So I'm over here, I'm over here like, hey, you know, what's going on? Dave, she was like, well, where are you? I was like, I just got finished dropping off the the Amazon load, and now I am on my way down to Ohio so I can get the driver tech fits. Well, mm -hmm. they want you to come to uh, Tunnel Hill. I'm like, Tunnel Hill, Georgia? Mm -hmm. She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, they they want you to bring the truck over to Tunnel Hill, Georgia, so it could get fits, yada, yada, yada. So I'm like, mm -hmm. wait, I'm 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 about four, maybe four hundred, four hundred and fifty hundred miles away from Ohio in a direction where <laughs> I'm supposed to be going. So you want me to right. you, you want me to double back and drive about nine hundred miles to uh tunnel hill i was like well right i said well i i was about to pick up an empty and she was like well no mm -hmm. no 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 you you don't need to pick up an empty you can bobtail so now red flags is going on in my head like going <laughs> like so i'm over here, so <laughs> i called her again and i was like hey um are you sure you want me to bring it to Tunnel Hill? Because I am going home after I get the, the mm -hmm. driver tech fits at the at right. the at the yard in Springfield. So she goes, Well right. well, no, no, we um we want you to bring it up here, get it fits, yada yada yada, and this, that, and the third. Now mind you, oh, see yeah. what I what I know now is what I didn't know then is that she knew mm -hmm. that safety wanted to see me. And she, she didn't tell it. me. So she did it, say it. Right. So in your situation, in your situation, the same thing. Dude knew that safety wanted to see you, but he didn't he want he, he didn't want to say. He just wanted to be like, keep you. See, this is what it is. And this is what I came to realize all these years later. You got their truck, right? See, if they was to tell yep. you. If you if they was to tell you, hey, you're coming in to see safety, right? Automatically, you thinking to yourself like, oh, okay, I'm yep. about to let go. Let me go ahead and let you, go. right? You yep. you in Tyler you in Tyler, Texas. I'm in Ohio, yep. so yep. let's go ahead and bounce. <laughs> Let's clean this right, truck out right. and, and everything. You know yep, what I'm saying? Let yep, me let me yep, get home. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Let me get home. <laughs> so yep. that's what I came yep. to realize, and that's why they do that yep. stuff. All right, so that's why they do. All right, so you got you got the address. You you're on your way up to the uh up up to the terminal. You get up into the terminal, and then what? Who makes my coffee? Who makes my coffee? Will someone explain to me why I'm the worst day of my life? My coffee tastes like shit. Your coffee is normally made by Cato. Who the hell is that? Okay, so once I get to the terminal, I call my manager back, and I'm like, okay, um. Oh, no, he called me, and he was like, um, go speak to this dude. Name. I believe his name was Scott or something. Go speak to Scott. Um, and I was like, okay, um, I'll go to the front office and speak to Scott. He wants to talk to you. I said, okay. So I ran, went up to the front office. I said, I'm here to see Scott. I pressed the button. I said, I'm here to see Scott. And he said, okay, um, he'll be with you in just a few. Okay, I sat in the lobby, waited there about 10 minutes, and oh, my God, um. <laughs> He came out there and said, okay, um, hey, um, are you Oceana? I said, yes. And we went to the back to his office and sat down. And then he was like, he was doing something at first before he got to me. So he was like, okay, give me just a moment. So he got to me. He, um, he said, okay, so the company um, wants to work with you on your YouTube videos promoting for them. I said, okay, that's, <laughs> that sounds good. So then he was like, but. I watched his video. I just watched his video. So he showed me my video and he had it pulled up on his computer. He said, um, well, I watched his video and I noticed um, while you were in the video, we seen that you were recording with your phone, um, recording the rain with your phone and stuff like that. And he was just like, well, that's now since, since you were recording with your phone, now we can't even do, we can't even do anything because that's a like like a distracted driving. I guess driving. something like a well some yeah that too. No, he said that's that's uh something with termination. He said we, we have to automatically terminate you for that because it's within our policies, our insurance, something like with insurance or something. I said, Okay, um I didn't think I was coming here to get fired. I definitely didn't think that I was ready to go and, you know, work and roll these tires. And he was, he was just like, yeah, they don't want to do, they don't, they, when they see anything with a phone driving and stuff like that, we go beyond our, our way to, we have to let y'all go. So I was like, okay, okay. No, I got all teary. I got all teary eyed. My mom, come on. Let, let me, let, let me, let me say this, man. I'm, I'm sitting in the. I'm I'm sitting in there listening to what the young lady trying to tell me. Same thing, the bullshit, the same thing, the guy telling you, mm -hmm. oh, well, you know, you're a good driver <laughs> and we, you know, we appreciate yep. you and yada, yada, yada. And then they just, yep. and then they just yep. hit you. Like, well, we're going to have hit to let you, you go. Like, oh, like <laughs> what? I, I'm sitting there like, well, God wait, hurts. what? I said, I didn't even have the right. phone in my situation. I didn't even have it in my hand. And the young lady <sighs> and the lady was like, well, did you did, did do you think it's distractive driving? And then I got mad and I looked at the, <laughs> the fleet manager. I was like, well, yeah, you know what? I think it is distracted driving when somebody keep uh keep emailing you and texting you and, and trying to hit you up through the driver mm -hmm. tech. Mm -hmm. I said that's distracted right. driving because right. the driver tech goes off bing, 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 bing. Mm -hmm. And I'm over here like right. I'm over here like, well, wait a minute. I'm, I, I, I thought I was a good driver. I've been here for going on for two mm -hmm. years, and I had, uh, I, mm -hmm. I had my, I, I got like high marks. I'm like 95 percent of the drivers that that accept lows with no problems, and I'm, and I'm just getting one mm -hmm. and done like that, like that. Yeah, man. I that, know right. Now yo, now know, this right. guy, this this guy, he was bullshit from the start, man. I. The way you explain it, I, sure. the the way you explain it, he was bullshit from the start. Hey, we want to, we we want to, you know, we want to work with you, and yep. you can promote and the I, video and I all like that. All. Like try yep. to try yep. to butter you up before he yep. hits you with the he dagger. Did. You he know, yep. try try to yep. butter you up. Like yeah, we we like what you do on your YouTube and all like that. Like bro, you ain't That's even exactly what he said. Right, I'm like bro, you ain't even, yep. you ain't even. 
you didn't even know I had a YouTube. Like, for uh -uh. real, bro. Nope. Nope. So <laughs> that's how they that's how they was with me. They was like, and then Haley at the end of it all, Haley gonna say, Well, you know, I like all your videos on YouTube. I was like, you, you know what? Get just get just get out of my face. All right, so oh. all right, so it's I mean, me and you, I, like I said, man, this <laughs> I like it when I when I talk to uh, when I have conversations with uh, with people. People conda and a thing. <laughs> it bring it brings me back to nineteen. I mean nineteen brings me back to twenty seventeen. Man, like wow, oh like God. identical. So after all of that, you you know, of course you got of course you got emotional. Uh, what was? What was what was the uh, what was the outcome after y'all talked? It, it, I'm, I'm sure he told you you had to clean out your truck and everything. So what was what was the what was the emotions going through you while you was you know going uh, cleaning out your truck and everything? It was just like you know like thinking of like how I jumped from this this to that. It's kind of like the career thing. I was just thinking in my head, like, I thought I was a, I was doing good at my job. I started doing, because my, my problem in trucking was just the backing part. So as time went by, I started getting better. And I'm just like, okay, I can pull into these docks really good now and stuff like that. And I was just like, man, me, me doing better at my job is, like, showing me that this is where I want to be because, like, I just, it was it was just seeing doing seeing myself do better and you know like cause just being able to do better that's that's what was going through my head and I'm just like dang now I had all this stuff planned for my life because I was like this is where I want to be this is gonna get me there and I it's no it's no turning back so I'm just like okay now since I'm fired. I don't have I can't I don't have these plans anymore because now I have to start over with looking for a job and stuff like that. So that's that's really all was going through my head, packing up that stuff in that truck. He had told me he said we turned off the truck and stuff like that. And I was like, Okay, um what <laughs> we turned off the truck so it won't move. I guess they thought I was gonna drive it off or something, but I was just like, Okay, I'm just getting my stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Wow, man, that's that's crazy, dude. Dude told me I had twenty four hours to get my stuff up out of there. He <laughs> <laughs> he told me he was like, "Well, oh, we he, got we 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 oh giving my. we giving you twenty four hours to get get your stuff up out of here." And I was like, I was like, "Well, I got it, you know." I, I got a lot of stuff in my truck, like, you know, over two years, mm -hmm. over two years driving because I was focusing on on my experience you know i i mean mm -hmm. i had mm -hmm. i had plans i had mm -hmm. plans to to you know to 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 move on from us express but i mean it was right. i mean it wasn't at that time i was still going to give them i was um, right i was still going to give them the yep. time but yep. i'm in there yep. clean, i'm in there cleaning out my truck and everything and i, I I'm, I'm full of emotion like this motherfucker, they could have, they they could have just written me up. They could have just, they could have just did this. I'm just going in my head, going like a, a lot of scenarios. Like they could have did this, they could have did that. Well, I, I didn't have to get yeah. fired, you know. Right. All right. right. So after right. after I cleaned out the truck and everything, of course, they was they 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 was gonna they was gonna get me a way home all right so yep. they yep. um i went back in there and uh, you know they called me back in there and they was like well we're gonna make sure you're gonna you know th that you can get home and i'm like well what i'm right. gonna do what i'm gonna do with all my stuff i i, said, I got a lot of stuff <laughs> and they was like well if you want you know you could pack it all up put a you know, put the address to where you want us to ship it to and all like that and and we'll do that. And I'm I'm kinda like, no. So no, I'm, I'm right. thinking I'm I'm thinking they're gonna get me a rental car. So they you know, I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a rental car, <laughs> drive and 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 be it. No. 
They turned around and gave mm-hmm. me a fifty. They gave me fifty dollars on a on on my card, and a and a mub and a mub mub bus ticket. So I came back to oh your I came back to your TikTok, and I I I seen the you know the follow up video that they did the exact same thing to you gave that gave you a, gave you a bus ticket and yep. and 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 gave you a way home now where where was the terminal and how long did it take for you to get back to Tyler Texas oh my god so basically it took about a day and a half the terminal from town was it, it was in little rock arkansas though so where the where I was, the love to to the Pam Transport, Little Rock, Arkansas, was only an hour away. So I drove there with their truck, and so from from the Pam Transport to I believe the the terminal was like twenty five minutes from the Pam Transport um place. I uh, it actually was at a gas station, like where buses came and we got picked up there. I was just like, this is different. So it was it was like twenty five minutes. And you said it took a a day, a and day a and a half. half. Yeah, yeah. Because I um they got me a ticket from basically okay Little Rock, Arkansas took me to Memphis. So I was I was in Memphis to about uh, I was in Memphis like to about eleven. I made it there like around eight something, and then I was there until like eleven something. And from Memphis to the Dallas terminal, I got to Dallas, waited there, and from Dallas to Tyler. So it was a delay in Dallas as well. How was what? What was your what? What was your experience? Well, let me ask you this. Um, mm-hmm. Well, no, you know what? I'll reserve that. I'll reserve that. How was the experience on the way back home? Because now you're you're in your feelings. You're on a motherfucking yep. you you on a mud mud greyhound. Uh. <laughs> you, you, yep, you, you, you 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 rolling down you you rolling down the way for a day and a half. Like now uh, now yep. now where's your mind stay at now? Uh, on, the way, <laughs> on on the way back on the way back home on the bus. Honestly, honestly, riding that bus, like, I was, we went by, like, a whole lot of, like, truck stops and things like that. You know, I was still getting my feelings emotional. I was like, oh, my God, I miss that. I miss being able to park at the gas station, being able to do all that trucking life thing. So I'm just like, uh. And then I started going to, like, okay, maybe this is just not what, you know, what what God got in his plan for me. So that's when I went there in my brain, <laughs> thinking like maybe it just wasn't where I was supposed to be at and stuff. So I just I cried one time, honestly. I cried one time until I got back to the house. And I when as soon as I pulled into my hometown, I was like, Oh my God, I actually missed my hometown. Being on the road for like a month and a half and then having to come back home, it was just like, Oh my God, I missed my hometown. That's, Honestly, I don't know if I'll go back over the road. That, I don't know. That's Honestly, what's I don't up. Know. That's what's up, man. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So now you're back home. You're back home in Tyler, Texas. Um, yep. do, do they do do they still owe you a last settlement, or did they yes, get that to you already? They still owe me like no. Um, I still actually probably got like two more checks that I need to come from them. And so I guess I wait till my payday, the paydays I used to have or whatever to get them in my bank account. I don't know how they do that. I didn't ask about any of it. So I'm just going to wait until I get paid and see if, you know, it comes. If it don't, then I'm going to call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got on a, you, you got on a bus. I didn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Um, I went to, I, I went to like two different rental car places and they was like mm-hmm. we we can't uh take debit cards i was like what you talking about i got over fifteen hundred dollars on my credit card yeah i said i got over fifteen hundred dollars in my <laughs> in my bank account like right now like i said do y'all take mm-hmm. cash because i can go to the atm and, and give you the down payment for the 
for the for right. the card. It was like, no, nah, <laughs> no, nah, we can't do that. We need credit cards. So mm-hmm. I'm 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 at the I'm I'm at the um I think I'm at the uh where am I? I'm I'm at the airport. I'm I'm at well, either the mm-hmm. either the it, I was at a terminal. I know that much. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this this is one of the best. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I get on the phone with my son, and I'm like, bro, man, they got me stranded out here in, in, in Tunnel Hill, Georgia. You know, they over here talking about giving me a bus ticket to get home, and I got all this stuff on the mm-hmm. truck I need to get. And, uh, you right. know, and my son was like, hey, he was like, hold up, Dad. Do you you still got that credit card I gave you? I said, yeah, man. I, I said, yeah, I still got it. He was like, you got money on it? He was, you, you got, is, is there money on it? I was like, I got, I got to make a, you know, I got to make a payment. He said, hold on right, right quick. He said, hold on right quick. Do-do, do-do-do-do. <laughs> he said, go, he said, try it now. I went over there. I was like, hey, I got a credit card and all like that. How much money, how much y'all going to take out? Well, we need about $300 to hold yada, yada, yada. Sean, Sean was like, I got you, Dad. If it wasn't for my son mm-hmm. coming through in the clutch. Yep. I would have had to end up getting a. I, I would have had to end up getting a a, a U-Haul <laughs> because I I damn sure wasn't going to get on no bus, bro. <laughs> I have yeah, and honestly, um, I didn't say this part, but most of the stuff that I had in my truck, they asked me. They said if you have too much stuff to go on the bus with you, then we have a um, we have a trailer in the back that you can put your stuff in. And come back and get it whenever you can in 30 days. We'll hold it for 30 days. They didn't say anything about shipping it to me. They said we we'll hold it for you and get we'll hold it for you and we can ship it. We can we'll you can come back and get it and stuff like that. Hey, so I'm like, okay. Wait a minute. Um, so no. what, so what are you trying to say? You you want me to drive all the way back from no, Tyler, man. Texas, all the way up to. A uh, uh, bumfuck Arkansas yep. to get my to get yep. my stuff. Man, hey, yep. I, 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 you know, I, I'd seen yep. like I said, I watch your TikTok, and it's unfortunate that you had to, you know, discard some of that stuff and all like that. But I listen, did. this is a what lot I, of it. Listen, this is what I'm going to tell you, all right? Because you know, like I said, I did the reaction of your video, and uh, it's mm-hmm. it's unfortunate that you 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 probably didn't know their policy, which. Nine times out of ten, Honestly, they no. Nine times no. out of ten, they don't. They 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 don't tell you. They just they tell you at the last minute. You know, it would be yep. it would be cool. Yep. You know, now being that this is a social media age, now it would be cool if mm-hmm. the company you come straight out and be like, well, this is our policies on videotaping social media right yada 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 but right. they don't they, they don't tell you that in the beginning but yet if you out there showing you know out there hey i drive for pam transport and and this is what i do mm-hmm. at pam and you know yada 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 they they cool with all of that because they getting free right. advertisement you're they they, they, they right. they're not paying you and it's unfortunate <laughs> that you young drivers out there don't seem to realize that because like I said, it happened to me at first, you know, like I said, when I got with, after I left us express, I got with J and R Shrugel and I started it up again. You know, I started blasting mm-hmm. J and R Shrugel, J and R Shrugel, J and R Shrugel. I was the one mm-hmm. that actually put J and R Shrugel on a social media map. They actually came mm-hmm. back to me to ask me, Hey, you know, we we getting a lot of drivers in because of your videos. Thank you. How would you mm-hmm. like to be this and how would you like to be that? And they was they was about to actually start offering money to me. And I was like, yeah, well, cool, but okay. but me and the me and the fleet manager at JNR Swoogle kind of went downhill. Well, so yeah. I, I left. Yeah. But what what you need to do, because this is this is experience now. Do you 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 learn from this, sure. right? You learn from this. What you need to do 
is, well, I'm not going to tell you what you need to do, but what you could do is next time, whoever you go with, you know, try to find out Mm -hmm. their policies on recording devices. Now we already know that yeah. we already know that you can't keep it in your hand because of course it's distracted driving and all like that. But find right. out what right. their find out what their other policies is as far as social media. Can okay. I can I uh talk about the company? Do you, can I record right. the record the logos and this, that and the third? Now that's right. that's if you want to continue the social media route now me personally Mm -hmm. now here you go now me personally i wouldn't do it at all unless they pay me to do it they pay me (laughs) people don't need people don't need to know who you work for where you work at because you see somebody Mm -hmm. somebody sent that video to him you see what i'm saying yep Somebody sent yep. that somebody sent that video to him, probably anonymous, anonymously or something like that. You know, you probably you know how right. you was talking about Pam and your settlements and this, that, and the third. Some mm-hmm. some right. bum some bum fuck over here watching your TikTok or watching your watching your YouTube. They see you with the with the recording in your hand and hey, yep. here's here's one of your drivers. You know, I, I think that it's yada 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 and they sent that video right. that's how they right. got it but as right. i said in my yep. as i said in my uh reaction video they have people don't don't be fooled oceana they got people especially mega carriers they got people that that types in their company names every day every day yep. that's that's what they get He's paid to do media. yeah that's what they get paid He's to do mhm <laughs> That's what they get paid to do. Yep. To find out who's out there talking about the company, who's recording about yep. the company, what social yep. media is talking about the company. They do that all the time. Yep. So next time, yep. next time, Oceana, take this as a learning experience. You know, For you, sure. you know, this is only, you know, this, you know, you this is only a setback, a minor setback. And you you'll you'll get yep. you'll you'll get in, you know, you'll get into um Get into get into the thing, but here's another thing too. Make sure you check your DAC report to make sure that they didn't put nothing else other than what they terminated you for. Because if they put that on your DAC report, that could hinder you in the in in the next, hinder me. yeah in the next endeavor as far as getting with a mega yeah. carrier. But it, it shouldn't right. hinder you all that much because you're a new guy, uh, you're a new jack and. You know, you're learning, and you're learning right. from your mistakes, man. Right. Right. That's what I was hoping that it didn't, you know, do or, like, stuff like that. But I have to check on that and make sure. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it didn't go, but, you know, they're a big company. So, I don't know. Yeah, def- to- definitely do that, man. All right, so let me uh, flip the script right quick because it sounds like you're busy with your dogs and everything. But listen. Yeah. Um, listen, you... I, I, of course, like I said, I've been following you for quite a while. Um, mm-hmm. You you started a you started a little entrepreneurship with your you know with your lip gloss thing and all like that, mm-hmm. and then you decided yep. then you decided to get your CDL and and become a female truck driver. Uh, when yep. you decided to become a female truck driver, did you did you sought out Pam? And went through their CDL program, or did you get your CDL before you went to Pam? No, actually, Pam paid for me to go through training. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. So, yep. how long was you with? So, how long you was driving for Pam all together before you got terminated? Honestly, I was only over the road for Pam, like officially working for, for Pam for only a month and a half. <laughs> Oh, okay. So yep. also, Officially. okay. So listen, now you now you just mentioned that Pam paid for your CDL, but you yep. also have to you also had to drive for them for a number of months before yep. that a year at least a year. A year. But,
but unfortunately you yeah. got terminated. Did they mention anything mm-hmm. to you about about re- the the reciprocation of the repayment of the, the repay? Yep. Oh, so they did. They did yep. came and said yep. that. How how much yep, they did? They how how much they said you owe them now? Exactly. Am I supposed to not give a shit about? That's an excellent question to ask yourself in your actual voice. Excuse me. Some of us would like to order. Fuck okay, everybody. You're a total dick, man. There. There you go. Good. You're talking. Um. Um. Well. Um. So the the whole school thing was seven thousand. Like the whole total price. So. They said if I stay with them for the year, I only had to pay back to them a thousand. I only had to pay a thousand back. So honestly, I don't know where it goes from here because since I got terminated and I don't know if I'm still working off that thousand or I'm gonna have to pay that whole seven bands back. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know where I'm at right now. I didn't ask any questions about that. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Well, find know. well, find out. Uh, definitely find out because they, uh, they will put that on your credit report. By the way, yep, they will yep. put that That's on your credit it. report. Yep. So find out. I'm gonna call them. Yeah, find out and see. You know where that set, and then you could start. You know, making arrangements or payments and all like that. If you ever, if you get to another company that's offering a sign-on bonus or something like that, say like mm-hmm. a two thousand mm-hmm. dollar or whatever, just take mm-hmm. that, just take that money that they're giving you for a sign-on bonus, and you could just put that uh-huh. on what what you owe for your for your what CDL. I owe. Right, man. Right. Oh, Sianna. Well, yes, thank sir. you, thank you very much for coming on and sharing your testimony with you with me, and thank you for taking me back to twenty twenty uh, twenty seventeen. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank, thank you, you for very, having me. Not a problem. Not a problem. You, 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 you'll make it. Just. Just take all it's of this as a, yeah. yeah, just take all of this as a as a learning experience. Most definitely. There's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water. In the, the water. In the water.